Do I have favorite moments from last season? Um, you know, I the episode that is called End of the Road, which was actually our season finale last year, is probably my favorite because it, the, the storyline was basically it was the anniversary of um, our first date, but now we're divorced and Marlon wants to celebrate it. And my character objects strongly. She doesn't want to revisit, retry it, whatever. She just doesn't want to think about it, talk about it, and really acknowledge it. And I just love the comic parts of it, which we basically told the story of our first date and we have a flashback sequence from our different points of view and they're just drastically different in terms of what happened, but also like the resolution of two people who, though they aren't romantically together anymore, they decide that they can still celebrate what came from that union. I think Ashley's place in the family is is still, you know, what most people would relate to as mother. She's she's definitely mother. She's definitely still working woman. She's still friend, you know, but I think the balance is trying to find how to again navigate a world where she can be a friend to Marlon where she can be a, a great mom to her children and where they can co-parent together constructively but also not like lose herself and lose what it is she's decided that she wants which is her independence and um, to be single again so I think this season we're definitely going to see the struggle of that of like okay yes I'm completely and committed to this family but also how do I honor the fact that I've now made this choice to be a single person again. Yeah, no, we actually um, will see a bit of growth on Marlon's part. I mean, in the pilot episode of the show, I'm on my first date since we were together and he loses it. I mean, he literally like shows up and crashes the date. What I love about the show Marlin is that, you know, we're talking about divorce, which is something that, you know, only about 60% of Americans can relate to. Um, and we're talking about it in a way that hopefully is constructive and hopefully is under the umbrella of keeping the love. You may get rid of the relationship, you may get rid of the coupling, but you keep the love. You keep the love for the benefit and the sake of each other because at one point you were in love and you keep it for the sake of the kids. Um, and yeah, I think that one of the great things about the show is that the kids really mirror a lot of children in a healthy environment. They can recover from a lot of disappointment. They can recover from life's um, hardships. You know, kids are really resilient, but um, they can really flourish in, in a circumstance where they're still surrounded by love and positivity. So in this new season, we have an amazing bunch of leading ladies thus far who are guest starring on the show and one of them being one of my favorite people who I've also worked with before Kim Waynes Marlon's big sister and she's playing kind of an Inyala Vanzant character where she's a therapist and we go to her because we're having problems and you're like wait but you're divorced that's the whole reason you got divorced so you don't have problems but you know we still got 99 problems and you know uh, marriage isn't one Oh, yes, Jay-Z, I threw you in there. Um, <laughs> but, you know, we're trying to figure it out because we have this cool divorce, but there are still these areas where the same kind of cyclical problems that we experienced when we were a, a couple and a pair are still resurfacing. His inconsideration, my kind of nagging and um, setting him up. I mean, in, from his point of view, he feels like I'm setting him up for failure, like I'm expecting something from him that I know he's not kind of lined up to be. So there's valid points on both sides. So we go see this therapist played by Kim Waynes and it's just hilarious. We have amazing, again, amazing guest stars and women that I've worked with before, Sherry Shepard and um, Kim Whitley. They're playing Marlon's sisters. Um, and he has, 
As Marlon is in real life, he's the baby of 10. There are 10 Waynes in the original first generation. Um, and Marlon is the baby, and he doesn't like disappointing his older siblings. And to a certain extent, they're a little dictatorial in their expectations of him because they all feel like kind of mini parents because they're all older than him. And so in this episode called Sisters, we are meeting Marlon's sisters, um, played by Sherry and Kim, and he hasn't told them that we're divorced even though it's been a year. He doesn't want to disappoint them. He doesn't want to upset them. They love us as a couple. 